This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. This guy asked the question, he said, I really think I lost a good girl with my ex. And I talked to you before about this. And you said, since she doesn't have social media, and there's me being corny in our text from a year ago, there wasn't much I could do. What would you do if you had to beg, uh, if you had to bag her for your life? Like, what do you think? Well, I'm not at the stage of my life where I think I have to have any particular woman. And by default of that, it allows me to be open to the idea that any woman I come across could be somebody that I connect with, you know? And so my lesson is don't get one-itis. Don't get hung up on one woman so much that you just absolutely have to make it work. Also ask yourself the question, why do you feel the need to bag her? Like the, the phrase bag her sounds like you want to just add her to the list of women that you were able to convince that you were able to go out with and get and hook up with and whatever. And so that's really like more how a younger man thinks because at, at a younger age, your testosterone's flowing a whole lot. I'm 42. Mine has died down to where it's like, if I have a hot naked girl in my bed, I could be like, I want to bang her or I could play video games. And sometimes video games went out because I'm like, eh, I'll get to that later. Th th that was not my thought process. At 18, it's like any woman that's here, any woman that's willing to say, again, I was a virgin until I was 23. So, but anyway, yeah, any woman that's here, that's willing to give me attention in that way, I'm just automatically going to. But you learn as you get older that sometimes the women you think you want to bag aren't worth bagging. Like I had women I had crushes on in college that I look at now and I'm like, oh, I dodged a bullet. I dodged a soul tie. I dodged somebody I'm going to be feeling feelings for long after we've hooked up. Thank God, right? And so I say this to say that ultimately, don't be so concentrated on the past. Don't be so concentrated on, I didn't get a girl. I have something to prove. All that's just ego. That's your ego saying, I didn't get to win her over, so now I got to prove something to myself by getting her. It's not fair to you because you should be moving on. And it's not fair to that woman that you're essentially just trying to prove to yourself that you can get her, but without taking it into consideration that, but how's that going to affect her? Like, how is you Bagging her just to say, oh, I got to bag her, going to make her feel in the long run once you just get rid of her. Because you could bag her and be like, yeah, I got her, I bagged her, and then leave her to the side of the road again. And now she has to live with that, and she has to deal with that. And I'll be real. Like, you know, there have been women that I got a chance to date that, like, it, it didn't work out, and so I had to dump them. And it's like, I still think about, the, like, oh, crap, some of them are probably still single, or some of them just, whatever experience they had with me, they weren't able to move on. Like, that stuff is real. So you got to be mindful that when you're when you're dating women, it's not just about you getting your rocks off or about, you know, you having the best time with her. It's about you're taking this person in and basically saying, as the guy, I'm going to try to, you know, be understanding of your feelings and take care of you. And that's that's very selfless. You just trying to bag a woman to bag her is very selfish, and it's not fair to them. So... That's how I think about that kind of stuff. But hopefully that answers your question. We got a question in the chat. And the question goes, what's your take on playing the mysterious card by not showing up the social circle for a while? There's a girl who friend zoned me after one date and things seem too platonic. Uh, I'm all for it. Like, because... <sighs> How do I say this? Because, you know, I, I've talked on the show before about how I've been in situations where, like, I'll go to a party that my friend's throwing and I'll see a girl that I want to get with, at which point I will talk to, like, every other person in there except for her. And then at the end of the – then once I'm done talking to all of them, I'll, like, make myself be somewhere near her to start a conversation and then we'll build a nice talk and rapport. At the point that I get the number, I bounce. Because I know that less of me at this point is more. So if you find that there is a woman that is in your circle and you've gone out on a date and then she friends on you, it is not your job to continue to be around her if you don't want to be. Now, you can play this one or two ways. One way is you could say, tell your friends, hey, let me know if she's going to be at this thing and I won't show up. You, you could do that, but eh. It, it, it's fine. Like, then she'll at some point she might be like, "Hey, you know, where'd you go? What's been up with you?" But that doesn't always necessarily mean that she's going to fall for you. Like, I want you to understand that, like, most women at the point that they put you in the friend zone, that they're really not trying to do more than that, right? But that doesn't that that, that just means you don't have to overreach. Like, she said the friend zone thing, fine. Just don't reach out to her to do solo stuff. Now, the other way is, let's say she's in your friend circle, right? So that means inevitably 
your friends are going to ask you to hang out with them in whatever capacity. When you're in these circles, just make it a point to not to not initiate conversation with her as much. Like, let her be the one coming to you to start conversations, at which point you're cordial. Oh, hey, so-and-so, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. How's things going? Okay, great. Blah, 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 blah. Back over here, right? And so subconsciously, she'll start thinking, I keep going to him to start conversations. He's not coming to me. Oh, what's that about? He must be butt hurt, butt hurt that we weren't dating. But then she'll start thinking, but wait a minute, but like, but I keep going to him. I keep talking to him. I keep choosing to go over to him to start a conversation. And so sometimes women need to do that exercise on their end to make themselves think, oh my God, I keep going over to him because I think I still kind of like him maybe. And that's the part that a lot of men don't get is that for women, getting building attraction for you is about feelings. And so sometimes they need to legit feel a thing before they'll have you know strong emotions for you. And so that could very well mean if she sees you hanging out with the friend circle, then she's coming over to you nonstop. She'll start feeling that, that every time you guys hang out, you're not going to her. She's coming to you. She's coming to you. She's coming to you. She's coming to you. And then also the times that you're not there, hey, where's so-and-so? Why does she keep asking about you? Huh? I keep asking about him because I must really like his company and like him around. Now, I will say, I don't want, I don't want to tell you all this ex- with you expecting that you doing those things is going to result in her wanting to get you out of the friend zone. At the end of the day, I find it's better for you to move on from that situation and start seeing other women, which adds to my other thing, which is that kitty cats compete. And sometimes the faster way for a woman to show interest in you is to see or know that other women have interest in you. So you ignore this chick. You go out, start dating other people. Then you all get together in the friend group. She comes over to you. Hey, so-and-so, what you been up to? Oh, you know, I've been just hanging out, chilling. You know, I had a date last week and then I did some stuff at school and blah, blah, blah. You know, just normal stuff. Act like it's just part of your normal day and conversation and see how quickly she starts to flirt with you. I know this because I've done it. And it's amazing how much a woman would want to get on you once she knows another woman's on you. Now, does that mean that she's a quality pick? Eh, I have found that that's a harder one to answer because women typically just operate like that. Like women are always looking for dudes that they know that other women want. And so because that's what they typically do, I can't fully say she's complete trash for that. All right? She'd be more trash if she was like trying to actively break you up from another woman. But in terms of like her liking you because she knows another woman potentially likes you, that's par for the course with women. That's typically how that goes. So, but hopefully some of what I said will help you out with your situation. Be sure to go to my website and check out my ebook, uh, Stop Losing Women, The Ultimate Guide to Losing the Girl of Your Dreams, which again, which again, not only do you get this amazing 280 page book, but you also get some amazing bonuses. This is explaining all the stuff you get with it. You can check it out at the website to read for yourself, but you also get some bonuses. You get Alpha Unleashed, 10 ways to harness your masculine energy and amplify your sexual chemistry with women. So you can read all about what that entails. You also get a special report, Holiday Dating 101. This is a PDF guide that's gonna give you the 10 steps that you need to use during the course of dating during the holidays to be able to get women. Because let's be real, Holidays are a hard as heck time to date. And most guys are going to mess it up because they're asking women out at the wrong times. They're trying to invite them to the wrong things. And I want to make sure that you are prepared. So that comes as part of your ebook purchase. And of course, for those of you guys that are like, but Harry, what do I do on a first date? Gotcha. Right here with the video bonus, First Date Like a Boss, which is is an hour long video that walks you through everything you need to be doing on first dates to be assured that you've built up her feelings enough to get a second one, all right? That comes with the ebook purchase. And then lastly, I forgot to mention this also, uh, you get another bonus, which is you get three free live interviews with the Dating Experts audio. So uh, as part of my Introvert Dating Success Academy community. I have a bunch of audios whereby I interviewed over like 30 something experts that give their take on dating relationships, right? So I've included three of those audios as bonuses for when you get the Stop Losing Women ebook. So again, you can check that out at the website, check it out. And I promise you, you guys will get a kick out of it and what it has to offer because it's helped a lot of guys already, which is the only reason I've been talking about it extensively on today's show. <laughs>